What's up guys, today I'm going to explain you very quickly how to make a reel with Final Cut Pro 10 using like simple stuff and uh, synchronizing the music and doing everything ready for Instagram. So stay tuned and try to understand whatever I say. Right, so the first thing you want to have is uh, check online on Instagram if the song you want to use is there and obviously if the same um, you know the same version of that song is in there because of course if you synchronize the whole video in a type of song maybe a studio version and then in the Instagram on Instagram there's no studio version because it happens sometimes um, <clears throat> you might struggle to synchronize the, the change of uh, frame on the beat so what I highly suggest is that you think about a song first and then you go on Instagram, on the real section, and you start to look for the song. So I want to do this video, to, like this tutorial, and this video with uh, my brother's song. My brother is uh, is getting famous in his uh, field of uh, turning music. It's called the Still Noise. So he's on here. Um, the Still Noise, and I'm gonna use this song, Midnight experience so I'm gonna find the song here so as you can see oops is in there midnight experience okay so um, I'm gonna check it right so the song is there so we're good then of course I don't have the rights of this song I don't have the CD my brother doesn't give it to me and so I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record uh, from um, Spotify, uh, a version like just have the beat uh, on my <clears throat> on my computer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare that song in a second and come back to you. So because I use QuickTime, um, I'm on Mac and I use a QuickTime to record this audio file from a source. It could be Instagram, YouTube, anything. Uh, um, of course, you have to keep it legal, so you cannot put your song in your things but you can always record for yourself just to synchronize the video and then of course at the end you can take the song off or at least you can you know uh, share the video um, with your song illegally but then on Instagram you're gonna put down the volume of your track and put it up the volume of the original song okay so it's just you use the the song you put in the video just to synchronize the song that you have with the song that Instagram is giving you so that's the only way to do it, unfortunately. Um, so at the moment, I'm basically pre-recording uh, in an audio file the song. Uh, it doesn't matter, you can use any song, you can download from a CD, you can have some music in your computer, uh, it's up to you, it doesn't matter, it's just uh, uh, because I don't have this file, he doesn't have on YouTube, and so I need to get in somewhere because I need to start and stop to synchronize the beat, all right? so. Now I have the file, okay, I have it right here, on um, here, so this is the file. So this is the music file and I'm gonna bring this to Final Cut, okay, so we're gonna bring it in Final Cut. So what I highly recommend to you <coughs> to use is this custom things that you can find them, they're like sort of a blocks and you can find them right here. So you go on titles and then you go down in generators and around the solids. Here is custom. You got different colors, but doesn't matter. So you just go here and um, you grab it, grab it and bring it down. Okay, so these things are basically sort of, sorry, let me put this in mute for a second. So these things are sort of uh, blocks that, uh, because the problem of Final Cut is that, you know, if you want to put a, a piece of movie here, it just come back all the time, all right? So these things allow you to move stuff on top of this, no matter what, no matter where, so you can do whatever you want. Right, so once you have one of these, okay, you put it under the song. So you put the, the part of the song that you want to do it. For example, here, let's go casually in the middle. Okay, this is a song with a beat, okay? And uh, you wanna, you wanna grab a sort of, um, 
Mm, let's take this off for a second. So you want to grab uh, normal reel are like around 15 seconds or 20 seconds. Let's do 15 seconds where you can do whichever you want really. So you kind of select the 15 seconds that you like of the song, which I'm going to pick like casually at the moment. So as long as you start on the beat. So make sure that the star is on the beat. So, so that's the beat. Two, three, four, stop. Okay, so you stop the song on the beat and you just, you know, put the beat at the very beginning. Okay, so now you got the, when you press the bar, you'll have like the start. Okay, so that's the, the main part. And then basically you wanna chop the song afterward. Hopefully that the 15 seconds follow the cut of the, the beat. If they don't, I highly recommend you to make a little longer, a little shorter because the good thing now are the reels that they keep going. So if you have a song that basically finish on the beat and restart the reel in the same right time beat, the person that is watching the reel cannot even understand that the reel is finished. Okay, so basically you, in the algorithm, you possibly have the song repeated more time and possibly the person will see it more times. So I recommend, and it also is more pleasant to see that the song come to a place and restart straight instead of having, you know, the song that is cut and then re restarts like in, in a different way. So I think that we're gonna check that right now. Okay, so. Okay, what I usually do, I do this to check this. I copy with the command C, I copy the track and just bring it down and attach to the other one and listen. listen. You see, that's wrong. It just started in the wrong time. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to, like a DJ, to mix the two things together. So I'm gonna try to see what the beat is. Possibly, so let's mute this for a second, possibly the beat. So the beat is here, okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm trying to put the same the beat in the same spot. Okay, so that's cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop it here. Right, so it's gonna be 50 and something seconds. But now, if you listen, it's gonna be perfect. Should be perfect. All right, you can't feel that it started again. That's the beauty of the real things, I think. So, again, let's try it again. And restart again. So that's perfect. Okay, and then we can delete that, we don't need that, and now is the time to synchronize, to, to cut this. Because basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring down the pieces of the movie, so, you know, the, the frames and the videos. Um, and so how can you do uh, see where the bit is. It's too difficult to understand like by watching. Uh, so what I usually do and what I learned from YouTube is this. So you're gonna have to chop this black thing um, in every bit. And what I usually do is this. You go on, on here, you select it, you go on the very beginning and then you press the space and then you chop every bit holding down the command and chopping on the bit with a B, which is the blade, all right? So what you're gonna do is this. Right, so basically, the, the last one was, this is being bad. Right, so what I did, maybe it's not purely clean, but uh, I think I did some mistakes here. So you're gonna go and fix it. Chop that away. Oops. Chop that away and then you go back. Make sure, oh, you see, it's like here is wrong. So what are you gonna do is to, there. So you have to fix it and also here 
the first one I didn't do, but this is kind of, if it's one, it's just okay to do it. But if it's like 20, oops, sorry. If it's 20, it's probably difficult. So what you're gonna do is to get the blade. Okay. Yeah, so you make sure, more or less, they're like on the beat. Right, so when you've done this, now you're ready to, I don't know why, oh yeah, uh, because I'm recording this movie. So when you've done this, you're ready to bring your videos. Okay, so now you start, and uh, let's, do, let's do it casually because I don't want to bother you guys with a lot of video things. Okay, so what you're gonna do is with the N activated, okay, which is the one that links you on the edge, uh, you kinda, you kinda start to bring down all your pieces. Sorry, that's my fridge. I don't know what the hell it's doing. Let's say. You try to differentiate a bit of this. Right, so I did it for for being quicker. I did it myself, um, very quick. And um, so here is the video. Let's see what it looks like. I didn't do much, but let's see how it looks um, in terms of uh, sync. Okay, it looks great and uh, it's very on the beat. So what you can do now is, I mean, if you want, uh, usually I do use some um, elements like, uh, where is it? Um, adjustments, yep, adjustment layers, um, which I have them already prepared, but let's do this. So usually I add a lot. Um, so I go here in the lock loader. I think it's a custom lot. Put that in. Go here. Here I have a few lots you can choose from. I like kind of those that they make a sort of... Uh, oh, this is cool actually. It's a bit dark, but uh, let me see. I can always like turn the light on a bit. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Exposure is slightly up. I'm just doing very fast. I'm not doing the color grading and everything, but. And then I have also another cool thing, which is the gamma. That I made myself in, um, motion so the gamma you can still put on here so it applies to everything you go on gamma and you just the gamma basically is the whitening that you get you give to a video okay so usually I just give a little bit not too much especially in the dark room it's quite cool and I think it makes it also look a little bit more professional so let's see how it looks like So this is a very quick one, but anyway. So once you've done this, of course you can add text, lyrics, whatever. Uh, also there's some programs that they add you the speaking part if you wanna do that. Um, I personally don't do that much. Uh, basically you, you obviously um, share it. I already have a preset of sharing reels like in that format and also uh, HEVC. 
um, 4K because uh, Instagram doesn't understand the H uh, the, um, the H264. Um, I mean, if you, it's not compatible basically with other formats, so you gotta go in that way. And um, yeah, so that's it. You just uh, uh, you export it here in the desktop. And basically, once you have exported that, the reel is done. You just have to go on here on Instagram. I can show you how to do it completely. I usually use I use Dropbox uh, for this uh, passage because I don't have an iPhone, but I will have it soon. But anyway, um, because I have a Samsung, so I need to use Dropbox and um, to pass the video quite quick. It's quite good. So I go on my Dropbox, I just bring uh, pa -pa -pa, tutorial. From here, from the phone, I go on my Dropbox. Um, yeah, once it's finished, right? That's, where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. So that's the video. So usually I download it. Oops. So I download the video. Save to device. Okay. And once you save the video on the device, that's brilliant. You go on Instagram, and uh, hopefully. If you see this video, you probably should subscribe to my Instagram, like to follow me just for for fun and to support my job. Um, and also you should follow Distilled Noise, which is my brother, which is a good uh, producer. So here you go on, um, you know, to other reel. And basically what I do is um, I put the video first. Okay. And then I go on audio. I'm going to look for that song. Okay. Okay. And then next. So we're in this part, of course. It's funny enough, it's already synchronized. Oh no, it's just very low. Okay, so what you want to do is to go here and edit the truck. So you need to slide until it's on the beat. Simple as that, okay? So once it's synchronized on the beat, you're done. So what we're gonna do is you put down your camera audio completely. Okay, and done. As long as on the beat with the images, now it's not perfect, but I did it very quick. But anyway, you have to spend the time to synchronize in the right time, and the reel is done. So here it is, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this content, if you like my travels, if you like anything on this channel, please subscribe. Even if you don't like, because it's free and you don't really, it doesn't really take much of your time. So just subscribe to my channel, please. And uh, put a thumbs up on this video if you like this content. And I hope to see you soon in another video. All right, stay tuned. My name is Enrico and I'm an equine veterinarian working in England. I love doing vlogging and photography, so stay tuned for the next adventure.